Hey guys, so I just want to make a quick video real fast, uh, just because I'm still working on the buttons video, and I expect it should be done fairly soon, but there's been a couple new updates that I just want to make sure I get everything nailed down for. So, this will be given to you in the meantime, I promise you I'm getting to work on that. So it has very recently come to my attention that there is a Twitter account called Free Art Requests uh, at the handle of WeDrawYourOC. Now it seems they've come under a little bit of backlash due to the way that they have treated one individual, and I just want to talk about that situation very quickly, uh, because I don't believe it is everything that everyone thinks it is, and I'm going to explain why in this video. Now a Twitter user by the name of Snake Hugs actually posted a call out about these individuals because they had cancelled a request of his after he had requested one status update on it in DMs after it had taken close to a month to complete. On paper, that sounds bad, and people are pointing out other things that make it sound worse, but I don't believe it is this bad, and I don't believe it is outside of their rights to have made the decision that they did, especially when taking into a few other things into factor. Now, I'll give you a moment to read the tweet as well as the DMs attached to it, just so that way you have full context for this situation. Now that you've done that, I'm going to put the rules that we draw your OC has placed on their thread so that you can have a further frame of reference here. Now, if you are like many people on Twitter, you've probably paid a lot of attention to rule number 10 and used that to justify this situation. They're being fairly tyrannical with the way they write their rules and things of that nature. The issue is, rule number 10 is not in question here. This person broke rule number 8 if you refer back to their own tweet and their own DMs. So calling rule number 10 here tyrannical, calling it unreasonable, calling it anything other than just rule number 10, it's not relevant to this situation. Rule number 10 was not broken. And I agree, if rule number 10 were broken, we'd be having a very different conversation. But as rule number 10 is not the one that was broken and did not result in this, pointing out that it is a stupid rule and that it is just very tyrannical, that's not relevant to the situation whatsoever. It's like saying, well, that restaurant threw me out for a noise disruption. Well, they would have thrown me out anyway just because I wore a hat inside, so they're obviously not reasonable. If that were the case, if you had been thrown out for wearing a hat inside, we might have a different conversation, but you weren't. It would have been a noise disruption in that hypothetical situation. So pointing out rule number 10 as an unreasonable rule does not justify uh, this person in any way, and it does not make them look any worse in this context, as that's not the rule in question. I also believe it is an important thing to remember that these individuals ask for no compensation, these individuals ask for no monetary gain. This is all done entirely at the request of people who want their OCs drawn. So I think that offers them a little bit more of a defense point. They're doing something entirely on their time and their dime. They're not asking for anything back, they're not requesting any kind of payment, they're not requesting anything in kind of reimbursement, and that I think is a mitigating factor as well. They are permitted to make these sort of cancellations. This is something that they're doing out of the goodness of their heart on that at that point and I don't believe necessarily that it's something that you can criticize somebody for for canceling something especially when even if rule number eight was written in a very vague fashion which has been pointed out to me even if rule eight was written in a very vague fashion it was a knowable that this would not be acceptable and this would be what happened and honestly since this is a request and it's not coming at any cost to the person who had uh, who, who was canceled on or and it's not it's there's no gain for the people who did the canceling I don't see that it's necessarily justified this call out here now there was one final point that I wanted to bring up which is that the full context was not displayed which we can establish here in this reply from uh, snake hugs which came after I started inquiring about this on a friend's thread now, you can see here that the account was actually willing to give him a second chance the way that they had promised inside of their uh, rules. 
and it was not stated that he was ever given a second chance, and he was actually allowing people to stay under the impression that he was not being given a second chance, and to me that's an incredibly disingenuous thing to do. Moreover, as you can see the dates and the timestamps, we can see that this wasn't a message they sent after the callout was made. This was sent weeks in advance, the same day of uh, the cancellation. He knew that he was allowed to request again, and still did not display that information, and I'm not exactly sure why, to be honest. The only thing I can reason out is that displaying that information offers some kind of defense for the account, and that that would inherently make his callout look weaker. That's all I can reason out. I don't live in his head, so I can't say for sure what his motivation on that was. At the same time, though, I think it's very suspicious that he was not willing to show that, hey, these guys are actually still making good on that part. They're willing to give me a second chance. I just think this was a little unreasonable. If that had been displayed in full, I would think that it, this video was probably not necessary, but the fact that he's willing to stand by this call out and allow, these, allow people to stay under that impression that they were not even willing to give him a second chance, I think that's an incredibly suspicious thing, and I think that's very important to keep in mind when talking about this situation. Now, many people think a lot of things one way or another about this situation, and I agree that some of those rules are either poorly worded or simply tyrannical, as we've established. However, I also think it's worth pointing out that we weren't given the full information by the person making the call out. Moreover, the top of the rules preface that all of these things, you know, this is what's going to happen, and so far they've made good on everything they've promised on their end for those rules. So I'm having a lot of difficulty seeing why this art account is actually in the wrong here, especially when you also, again, factor in that they ask for nothing back. They ask for no monetary gain, and they, they do this completely for free. So at that point, I'm having a lot of difficulty seeing why they're getting any backlash in this situation, especially when, again, we were not given full context. All right, that's just going to about do it for today. Um, the links to my social media, as well as the artists who do my character stills, they will be in the description and the pinned comment. Um, I, if, you, if you had some thoughts one way or another about the situation, I would love to read them down in the comments, and I will catch you guys later.